It is our automation line that um, we are able to process all of our specimens and it does all of the pre-analytics, which means it's going to centrifuge um, and process all of those specimens. Um, we will put the tubes on, it can read the barcode and knows exactly what tests to run and um, where that specimen needs to go. Um, so once it's loaded on, it uses our informatics through our Cerner LIS, which downloads the orders and then it, the process tubes will go around to the individual instrumentation that performs the testing. So once the tubes get put on and it reads the barcodes, they will travel around the automation track to, the, to each individual instrument. We have seven analyzers that are connected to the track and based off of which tests are performed, it knows where the test needs to go to run. So the first one that we have here is our DXI-800s. These do a lot of immunoassay testing. Uh, like TSH, some, we do some thyroid testing, um, we also do our COVID antibody test here. These do all of our general chemistry testing. Um, we do comprehensives, basics, mag, FOSS. Um, we do about 70 different analytes here. Um, once again, we're also mirror imaged, so when one is down for maintenance or controls, it can be, specimens can still be processed on the other one. Um, so we are continuously operating at all times. So specimens that need to come down to the other side, they can continue along the automation line. We do have an instrument laboratory coag analyzer. It does also sample directly from the line and we can process all of our coag samples here. And the last one at the end of the automation line is our DXH um, 800s. Uh, th this is where we do all of our CBC testing for complete blood counts. Uh, the new automation line allows us to give accurate results in a timely manner to healthcare professionals so that we can provide the best healthcare that we can. These analyzers are DXH 900s. We perform our CBCs here. The CBCs will help the physicians know whether the patient is anemic or has a blood infections. Um, we can also help diagnose things like lymphoma. Um, we can look underneath the microscope and detect abnormal cells. We do a lot of um, cancer center patients here and so we're a big part of helping with our cancer patients. This is where we process all of our urine specimens. Uh, the instrumentation that we have, the first side does do like a dipstick so we can get the top part of the urine and the second part is a microscope that we can see the cells and um, material within the uh, urine. We have been able to provide um, decreased turnaround times to provide more efficient results to healthcare providers.